Okay, and now we're going to do the automatic centrifugal switch. And we're going to start with image number one. So first, get two base plates. And on this one, you're going to put a few anchor pins in the same orientation as they are in image number one. So you're going to put one, two from the end. You're going to leave two holes empty and then put another one. You're going to put one in the fifth hole in, so one, two, three, four, five. And another one right next to it. You're going to take another one and count from this one three holes to leave empty. One, two, three, and then put one right here. And then you're going to put one right here that leaves four holes empty from the edge. Then you're going to add another anchor pin. You're going to leave three holes. So one, two, three, and then one forward from the edge. And then you're going to follow this row and you're going to leave it two holes away from the edge. So there should be three holes in between these. Then you're going to add another anchor pin right here. So one off from the corner and another one right here. So one away, one hole away from both this edge and this edge. So your base plate should look like this. You should have 10 anchor pins in here. And now we're going to add some anchor pins to this base plate. So we're going to add one, two holes away from the edge and one hole in right here. And we're going to add another right here, so one, two, three, leaving three empty, and right here. Then we're going to add two long rods. And we're going to notice that we're going to leave the side up, the hole that's a little closer to the edge. You see how on this side the hole is farther from the edge? So on this side that's a little closer to the edge, we're going to put this right into this anchor pin, and then this anchor pin goes into this hole right here. So there should be two empty holes out front. We're going to add another long rod, same story, like this. Then we're going to add a short frame, one row away from the edge, so right here. And then a short rod, we're going to use an anchor pin to connect. We can put it right in the middle here and use it to connect the short rod to the short frame. Then on this long rod, we're going to connect it to another long rod. And we want to make sure that this side with the hole that's farther from the end, as opposed to this side where it's right on the end, this side is facing us, and it's going to go in like that. And then we're going to take a long axle, and with the stop on the left side, we're going to push it through one, two, three, the third hole from the top. And we're going to add a washer and an axle lock. Then we're going to add two small gears right here. One, two, and then a medium gear. Okay. So now we're done with image number one, and we're going to move on to image number two. So now we're going to want two short rods, and we're going to connect them to each other with anchor pins. Put one anchor pin on one end, and another anchor pin on the other end, and just connect these two short rods together, like this. Then we're going to stick two anchor pins on the front of this short frame right here, so one hole from the top and again one hole from the top, and we're going to connect these two connected short rods to this short frame. So you should have three holes left on this side and three holes left on that side. And this long axle can fit into this third hole in the short rod. Then we're going to take a long axle and with the stop on the left side, we're going to put a medium gear a small gear, and a washer. And then we're going to put it through the third hole from the top on this short rod. So 
put it through, it should also go through these two rods right in the middle, right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six in the sixth hole. Then we're going to add another small gear. Now we're done with image number two, so we're going to move on to image number three. And to do image number three, you're going to have to assemble this belt. So this red piece is from your die cut. You're going to cut it out. You're going to cut these little square holes out. Then you're going to tape it together. And then you're going to tape these pieces. These pieces that look like little muffin holders, you're going to tape them into these squares. And that's how you're going to make your belt. And then you're going to stick the belt onto this axle. And then you're going to stick an axle lock on the end here to make it stay. Then you're going to take another long axle and with the stop on the left side, then you're going to stick a small gear on it till it hits the stop. And then you're going to push it through here and in the little bit of axle that's sticking out, you're going to stick an axle lock onto it so that it'll stay. So now we've actually done image number three and four, and we're going to move on to image number five. So next we're going to take a long rod and a short rod, and we're going to connect them to each other using two anchor pins. So on the short rod, stick one anchor pin in the end hole and another anchor pin in the other end hole, and making sure that you're using the side of the long rod with the hole that's closer to this end. You see how on this side the hole is farther from the end? So on this side, you're going to connect the short rod to the long rod like this, leaving this hole empty. Then you're going to take these together and slip this long axle into the fifth hole from the end. So one, two, three, four, five into this hole. Then you're going to add a small frame right here, and in order to connect these two things, you're going to add an anchor pin right here, one hole from the top, and just connect this onto here. Okay, now you're going to add a green sprocket wheel to this long axle. And now we're done with image number five, and we can move on to image number six. So you're going to get a large frame and you're going to stick it onto these two anchor pins and you want to stick this long axle into the sixth hole from the top on the side that's closest to you so one two three four five six and you're going to stick the axle into here it might take a little fidgeting there we go okay then we're going to stick a washer and an axle lock on the end of this long axle. Then you're going to take a large frame and the motor and making sure that this piece is off to the left, you're going to stick the motor right onto this large frame. Okay. Then you're going to stick the large frame onto these four last anchor pins so that the motor is right behind this large frame instead of right next to it. And you want to make sure you have a battery in your motor. Then you're going to add a large sprocket wheel onto this piece right here. And you want to make sure that it's right behind this small one because you're going to put a chain around it. And the way you're going to make a chain is by using the pieces in this plastic bag. You're going to connect them and make a chain. So you're going to put the chain around these two sprocket wheels and you can test it out and make sure that the chain works and you might have to make the chain shorter or longer and once you have your chain on we can turn it on and see how it works. And there's our automatic centrifugal switch.